हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट जी पेड द स्टेयर ऑफ सक्सेस फ्रेंड्स आई एम राहुल टुडे विल डिस्कस एम सी क्यूज ऑन फार्मेसी प्रैक्टिस फॉर आवर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन लाइक जी पेड नाइपर डी आई फार्मासिस्ट एंड अदर कॉम्पिटिशन एग्जामिनेशन सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम फार्मेसी प्रैक्टिस सो इफ वी सी द little introduction about pharmacy practice so the pharmacy practice is the discipline of pharmacy which involves developing the professional role of pharmacist pharmacy practice offers practicing pharmacist in depth useful review and research trial and survey of new drug novel therapeutics approaches so this is the definition of pharmacy practice okay so now let's see the mcqs from this subject so let's start so the first question from this subject uh, which is type 1 adr reaction is her options are कोस्ड वेन टी सेल बाइंड टू ए स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन और कोस्ड बाय टिश्यू इंजरी आई जी इमीडिएटेड और कोस्ड बाय साइटोटॉक्सिक एंटीबॉडीज सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट द टाइप वन ए डी आर रिएक्शन इज आई जी ई मीडिएटेड ओके दिस रिएक्शन आर दिस रिएक्शन इज आई जी ई मीडिएटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज एवरेज टाइम पीरियड फॉर फेज टू क्लिनिकल ट्रायल स्टडी इज हर ऑप्शन आर अप टू फोर ईयर अप टू फ्यू मंथ्स अप टू टू ईयर एंड अप टू सेवरल ईयर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट द एवरेज टाइम पीरियड फॉर फेज टू क्लिनिकल ट्रायल व्हिच इज अप टू टू ईयर्स ओके और नाउ लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज ड्रग कैन कोच लेक्टिक एसिडोसिस drug which is metformin or piloglitazone uh, ripaglinide or glevenclamide so the correct answer is that the drug which causes uh, lactic acidosis that is metformin okay okay now let's see question number 4 so question number 4 is the incidence adr is highest in options children elderly women or men so the correct answer is that the incidence of adr is highest in elderly patient okay question number 5 anti hypertensive therapy should be avoided in type 1 diabetes mellitus okay which is ac inhibitor और हाई डोज डायबिटिक सेंट्रल एक्टिंग और सेंट्रली एक्टिंग और कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द ड्रग विच इज अवॉइडेड इन एंड आई वन मेलाइटस डायबिटीज मेलाइटस विच इज सेंट्रली एक्टिंग ड्रग ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच इज इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैटेगरी एक्स ड्रग्स ऑप्शंस डाइक्लोफेनिक रेनिटिडिन लोरेजेपाम और पेरासेटामोल सो द आंसर इज दैट द ड्रग विच इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्स स्केड्यूल सो दिस ड्रग इज लोरेजेपाम ओके सेडेटिव लोरेजेपाम इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेड्यूल एक्स ड्रग नाउ लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विच इज इज इंडिकेटेड इन एजुटेशन एंड रेस्टलेसनेस इन द elderly despite the high incidence of extra pyramidal side effect drug is prochlorperazine clozapine haloperidol or flufentixol so the correct answer is uh, for question number 7 which is the drug is haloperidol is an indicated in agitation and restlessness in the elderly despite the high incidence of extra pyramidal side effect ओके नाउ लेट जंप ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो हेयर इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी ड्यू टू इट्स टेरेटोजेनिसिटी ऑप्शन आर फॉलिक एसिड 
calcium, retinol or iron. So the correct answer is that the drug which is contraindicated during pregnancy it is retinol. Okay. Now let's see question number 9. So question number 9 is co commonly reported ADR of diuretics class of drug uh, which is hypokalemia, alopecia, skin disorder or rhinitis. So the ADR which is commonly reported using diuretic class drug so that is hypokalemia okay this adverse effect caused by diuretics class drugs okay question number 10 which of the following responsibility of the clinical pharmacist is in direct patient care area options supervision of drug administration techniques or providing drug information to physician and nurses and identify drug brought into the hospital by patient and reviewing of each patient's drug administration from periodically to ensure all those have been administered so the correct answer for the pharmacist that so the correct answer of question number 10 uh, that uh, the responsibility of clinical pharmacist in direct patient care area is it reviewing of each patient's drug administration form periodically to ensure all doses have been administered this is the responsibility of clinical pharmacist in direct patient care area question number 11 which of the following responsibility of community pharmacist is in dispensing area so now we have to uh, the what is the responsibility of community pharmacy in dispensing area okay so her options are review all doses mixed risk schedule or uh, the doses as necessary and sign all drug note given notice supervision of drug administration ensure that stabilizes policy and procedure are followed or reviewing of each patient's drug administration forms periodically to ensure all doses have been administered so the correct answer is that the responsibility of community pharmacist and dispensing area uh, which is supervision of drug administration okay now let's see question number 12 the most specific and sensitive method uh, for assessment of compliance can be used to detect potent therapeutic agent in the body fluid uh, her options are drug analysis in interrogation urine marker or uh, residue residual tablet coating so the correct answer for question number 12 uh, which is uh, the most specific and sensitive method for assessment of compliance can be used to detect potent therapeutic agent in the body fluid that is drug analysis question number 13 which of the following reaction is called augmented adverse drug reaction options genetically determined effect Idosynergy rebound effect on discontinuation or allergic reaction and anaphylaxis. So the correct answer is that uh, the following reaction is called augmented as well drug reaction, which is idosynergy. Idosynergy. Okay. Question number fourteen. Question number fourteen is which one of these? is a genetically determined adverse drug reaction options addiction teratogenicity carcinogenicity or idiosynergy so the correct answer is that teratogenicity is genetically determined adverse drug reaction question number 15 uh, which is causes pharmacodynamic drug interaction Options gastric motility changes, stimulation of metabolism, alteration of pH of GIT or interaction at receptor site. So the correct answer is that uh, interaction at receptor site causes pharmacodynamic drug interaction. Okay, question number 16. The age related physiological change in geriatric patient which may affect drug distribution is increased body mass or increased total body water and increased total body fat 
और इंक्रीज सीरम एल्ब्यूमिन लेवल सो द फैक्टर विच अफेक्ट द ड्रग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन जीरियाटिक पेशेंट दैट इज इंक्रीज टोटल बॉडी वाटर ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन सोल्व ऑर्गेनोजिनेसिस अकर्स ड्यूरिंग ऑप्शन विच स्टेज प्री एम्ब्रॉयनिक स्टेज एम्ब्रॉयनिक स्टेज प्री फिटल स्टेज और फिटल स्टेज सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट द ऑर्गेनोजिनेसिस अकर ड्यूरिंग एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन ब्लैंक एब्सॉर्प्शन इन इन्फेंट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन इज नोटिसबली फास्टर देन इन न्यू इन न्यू नेटल पीरियड ऑप्शन ओरल टोपिकल इंटरवीनस और इंट्रामस्क्यूलर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट ओरल एब्जॉर्बन इन इन्फेंट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन इज नोटिसबली फास्टर देन इन न्यूनेटल पीरियड ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ड्रग डोज नॉट रिक्वायर थेरोपिटिक ड्रग मॉनिटरिंग ऑप्शन डिजॉक्सिन जेंटामाइसिन फिनेटोइन एंड पेरासीटामोल सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट पेरासीटामोल ड्रग डज नॉट रिक्वायर थेरापटिक ड्रग मॉनिटरिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑटोनोमी इन क्लिनिकल स्टडी इज डिफाइंड एज ऑप्शन फ्रीडम डिजिनिटी एंड कॉन्फिडेंशियली ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट right to choose example whether or not to participate in the trial or continue with it motive to do good to the subject or the society at large do not not to do harm or put the participant at undue risk and disadvantage or observance of fairness honesty and impartiality in obtaining analyzing and communicating the data so the correct answer for autonomy in clinical study is defined that freedom dignity and confidence confidentially of the subject right to choose example whether or not to, uh, to participate in the trial or to continue with it okay okay now let's see question number 21 is an example of latent adverse drug reaction options एंटीबायोटिक एसोसिएटेड डायरिया ट्रेटिव डिस्काइनेशियस सीरम सिकनेस और सीवियर ब्रोंको कॉन्स्ट्रक्शन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट ट्रेडिव डिस्काइनेशिया इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लेटेंट एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू मैकेनिज्म वाई विच एडिनल इन केन प्रोलोंग द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ लोकल एनेस्थीसिया ऑप्शन The reason is decreased permeability of the vascular endothelium or precipitation of lidocaine, changing the pH of the solution or local vasoconstriction. So the reason behind this is that is local vasoconstriction can prolong the duration of local anesthesia by adrenaline. Okay, twenty-three. blank anti diabetic drug is preferred for elderly patient option glycolazide glevenclamide metformin or pioglita zone so here options is uh, so here correct answer is that uh, the glycolazide anti diabetic drug is preferred for elderly patients 24 side effect of valproic acid is rhinitis thrombocytopenia hypothyroidism or confusion so the correct answer is that the side effect of valproic acid is thrombocytopenia okay question number 25 side effect is seen during the treatment with levodopa options dyskinesia von marrow depression thrombocytopenia or impotence so the correct answer or the correct side effect uh, which is seen during the treatment with levodopa is dyskinesia 26 drug is usually avoided with breast feed options 
ibuprofen, propanolol, methotrexate or nephrox. So the drug which is usually avoided with breastfeeding which is methotrexate. Okay. Question number 27. The sponsor in clinical study is options are country organization society or cohort so the correct answer is that the sponsor in clinical study is organization the written detail for conduct trial to ensure quality control of trial is known as options gcp sop iec or adr correct answer is that is known as sop the written detail for conduct trial to ensure quality control of trial is known as sop okay so the second last question of this video science of collecting monitoring researching assessing and evaluating information from healthcare providers and patient on the adverse effect of medication is known as pharmacovigilance clinical trials observational study or qualitative study so this process is known that science of collecting monitoring researching assessing evaluating information from healthcare provider and patient on the adverse effect of medication this is known as pharmacovigilance okay okay so the last question for today is an epidemic that become unusually widespread and even global in its reach is referred as to pandemic hyperpandemic spanish flu and endodermy so the correct answer is that this condition is known as pandemic okay an epidemic that become unusually widespread and even global in its reach to refer as pandemic and now we are all also suffering from this condition okay so friends these were the some important question from the pharmacy practice okay so in the next video we will see or uh, discuss next question from 31 to 60 so uh, that's all for today okay and friends i invite you to our telegram group here we upload daily quizzes videos important notes books and important information for your proper and better gpet preparation so if you like to join links are in the description box you can join from here thank you and thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye